Yeah, what we're seeing is a terrifying trend. Let's be clear. Governments hate free speech because it allows people like you, people like me, people like everyone watching this show to voice their opinions, to voice their disgust, to voice their celebration with what is going on in the government. Basically, the government can no longer control the narrative. And I wish this were only limited to Brazil because then I'd feel a little bit better. But no, we are seeing the same attacks on free speech, not only in Brazil, but in England, in France and here in the United States of America. Let's not forget the Biden-Harris administration just a couple years ago created the Disinformation Governance Board led by Scary Mary Poppins, where they would watch what we say and make sure nobody says anything that might be construed as being misinformation or disinformation. So we're seeing the what? Constitution and the free speech getting trampled everywhere. And Carl, I heard Tim Walls on tape say there's no absolute right to free speech when it comes to misinformation and hate speech. Yeah. Yeah, Tim, there is. It's, it's right here. It's easy reading. It's called the First Amendment. There is an absolute right to free speech, to the freedom of thought and expression. There's an absolute right. And for Tim Walls to say that is absolutely frightening, isn't it? Absolutely. And remember, he's running for vice president. So under a harris waltz administration, we can look forward to four more years of government deciding what we can or cannot say, what is or is not appropriate.